Today I want to give you a quick peek at idx.chat. This is the free version of idx.chat. It's available to all IDX broker clients. So just to show you kind of how this works, I'm logging in on the IDX broker demo account. So what I'm going to need to do is go to my account. I'm going to need to get my API key. So I'll just copy that. Then I'll come over here to idx.chat. And right here where it asks me for my key, I'll just put it here. I can put remember me for three weeks right there if I want to. And I log in. Okay, so I don't have too much going on. I don't have any chats. But I'm going to come over here and grab um, this code snippet and copy it. Now what I'm going to do is go back over here to my IDX broker pages. And in a real live setting, what I would do is go here to subheaders. And yours may look like this, where it says, uh, has all this information, these, they call it WYSIWYG editor. What you see is what you get. You want to turn that off, and then you just pop that code in there and then save the changes. In our case, just because we're doing this on their test site, we don't want to tear the whole place up. Uh, let's just grab this one as, as an example, and then I'm just going to pop in some code there, and I'm going to save that. Okay, so now I come over here to the main search. I reload that page. It's asking me a problem, but here's the chat. So let's just do this. Uh, test and my last name, we'll just put uh, realty. And then I'll just put test realty at gmail, email.com. Hey, can you guys help with a house that I'm looking at? Okay, and if I click start, it's actually going to send me some information. What I'm going to actually do is I'm going to come back over here and look at these leads that they have in here. And I'm going to grab one of these. Um, I'm going to actually grab this person's email here. And where am I? I'm going to put it in here just because it's going to show me some information. Okay, so now I've put that into there as the user. Okay, so I come back over here. I can see somebody's um, chatted with me. Well, what's cool is that I can see that this client has two saved properties and one saved search. Okay, if we come back over here, we can see that same information one saved property. And uh, two saves properties, I'm sorry, two save properties and one save search. Okay, they're just showing in a different order here, so that's no big deal. Um, there's the information they put on the chat. This shows the listings that they've looked at. And this shows their recent search results pages. And this shows any previous conversations that I've had with them. So, um, you know, here's some IDX info I can see here. They last logged in on IDX Broker uh, on the 1st of December, and their last activity was on February 22nd. They're set up for daily uh, property updates. And if I click here or here, I can see what their safe searches are or their safe properties. I can see they've looked at three um, IDX pages and that they're not getting updates for those. So what I might want to do is when I talk to these guys, I can say, um, oops, hello test, how are you? Um, okay, let's go back over here, let's say fine. And then I'm going to say, um, I may not want to let them know that I know who they are, right? Maybe if it's an existing client, I can say, oh, hey, um, 
I guess they put in their information, right? Their name and their email. I can say, hey, I can, um, thanks for sharing your information. Uh, looks like you have a saved search that isn't being emailed to you. Can I go ahead and start sending updates to it to you? Okay. And let's suppose that they say yes, then I'll click that button right there. And that's just going to link me back over here. Should link me back here, depending on how my logins are done. What happens, I'm on an incognito window, so everything's kind of not showing. But it'll take me uh, actually to this page where I would be able to, to come over here and look at this save search. And I can edit it and see what kind of properties they're looking for. And I can make sure that they're set up to receive uh, updates. So I may have to put a name in here, um, you know, new listings or something like that, right? Uh, so um, that's that's pretty cool. So let's come back to um, edit this lead. Okay, and now I'm going to show you something that I think is just awesome. So I'm pretty much done. Okay. I've done that. Thanks for contacting us today. And I'll send that over to them. And then now here at the bottom of the page, I have this option to save their chat history. You can see that's successfully saved. So when I come over here and I look at their notes, reload that you can see this shows the accounts last five notes and so they're hey can you guys help with this the agent said this they said that the agent said that and the agent said that so now I can track um, you know basically what this client said so it's pumping that right into um, into their IDX broker back uh, end, and then I can I can go back and refer to those anytime I want. So if I have a chat with them later, this uh, will this conversation that they just had with me today will show up over here in previous conversations, and I, it helps me keep track of what we're doing with them. There's a way to archive these, to delete them, and and different things like that. So that's in a nutshell how. IDX.chat works. It's free for any IDX broker user. If you use Realty Candy as your developer partner, you're going to get access to some premium features, including lead scores. So sign up today and check it out. IDX.chat.